Now let's discuss the certified operator requirements in detail. Michigan law requires that anyone who discharges liquid waste to waters of the state must have their pollution control measures under the supervision of someone who has been certified by the state. Therefore, the applicant and or permittee shall have a storm water operator certified by EGLE. The storm water operator may be someone who works at the facility, a regional corporate environmental manager, a consultant, or anyone else the permittee designates to receive the certification and perform these duties. However, the certified operator should be at the facility on a regular basis. The stormwater permit requires that the certified stormwater operator has supervision over the facility's stormwater treatment and control measures included in the stormwater pollution prevention plan. A certified stormwater operator at the facility shall review and sign the facility's stormwater pollution prevention plan along with the permittee and or his or her designee. The industrial stormwater certified operator shall conduct comprehensive stormwater inspections per the frequency in the general permit. The industrial stormwater certified operator shall conduct a visual assessment of stormwater discharges in correlation with each comprehensive inspection. If the facility's stormwater operator leaves the facility or no longer has operational responsibilities, the permittee must immediately obtain another stormwater operator. The new operator must review and sign the SWIP and EGLE must be notified. The industrial stormwater certification is valid for five years from the year it was issued. It is important that Eagle Water Resources Division have your current home address so that renewal information can be sent directly to you. In the year that an individual's certification expires, he or she is required to attend a recertification training session. This is a refresher course and will include information about any recent changes in permit requirements. EGLE may revoke the certification of a person who has practiced fraud or falsification or who has been negligent in the discharge of his or her duties. In addition, under Part 31, Section 3115 of Act 451, there is a $2,500 to $25,000 fine for negligence or falsification of records or reports. Upon conviction, in addition to a fine, the court in its discretion may sentence the defendant to imprisonment. A team of people should be selected to help develop, implement, maintain, evaluate, and revise the SWIP. This team should be made up of people who represent all phases of a facility's operations, including management. In some instances, the certified operator may be the only member of the team.